Okay, so I'm gonna go through uh, setting up the Renogy, uh, the Renogy uh, BT2 Bluetooth module for the Renogy uh, 50 amp uh, DC to DC MPPT charge controller or, or other devices that the BT2 works with. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna do it live real time basically, so I'm gonna go uh, find the Renogy here. Um, Renogy BT. It's the one we want. So that'll install. And we open it up. Sure. You gotta allow most of that stuff. And we basically got the Bluetooth on, but what we're doing here is we can go to device info and do a search search and now this is gonna prompt you about the uh, location and that's one of the things I think is pretty crucial for this app to work uh, you have to have for at least an initial setup the uh, the uh, location service activated so now it's found the device so that's kind of interesting so we can conf confirm that and it already it says connecting so boom it actually is already connecting and the LED is blinking on the BT2 and boom it actually is already connected so really it has nothing to do with with your Bluetooth settings because if I go oh, that's not what I wanted to do if I go into my Bluetooth settings it will it won't really show up it'll find other things and it, it'll have it well even if it does find it it won't connect to it you can click connect and it will not connect through it through the Bluetooth settings of your Android device can't say anything for uh, Apple because I don't use Apple products um, so there's an Apple TV obviously it's not mine it's a neighbors and uh, so it doesn't even show up in the Bluetooth area so but yet here we are um, See now it disconnected. So if I go to monitoring and add, go to the plus and add device, shows up. It'll connect back up, and it will start to display the actual, the actual things that are happening with it. Um, oh, yep, there it goes. So you know it's not the quickest responding, but when it actually does connect. It, it you know it's pretty nice the way it connects and works it, it works real well so anyways just wanted to give everyone a quick quick how-to on that so cheers